Vegas Scoreboard Express, Saturday and Sunday mornings at 6 on AM 1400 KSHP North Las Vegas. Online at KSHP.com. Keep it locked with your boy on the ones and twos. Going in on the wheels of steel. Right. You're listening to the boss of the big ball. No man is safe from That's how I'm living That's how we do it That's just the way it is Give That's it the reason why I came to you Drink and women and money Good morning Las Vegas and all my sports betters around the world Rocking with the boss of the big board JB the ticket Vegas scoreboard express Live from the KSHB studios here in Las Vegas AM 1400 and now going to be on 107.1 on your FM dial. Turn it up loud. May 1st again, JB the Ticket, KSHP, Vegas School Board Express. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this morning. Got a great show lineup for you. The NFL draft started this past weekend. And the Raiders in the first round picked up a winner. Defensive in out of Texas Tech picked up my main man Tyree so we're going to be getting into it in about four or five short clicks going to pay some bills got my main man Ron third down best bets back on the line with me like I said Tyree Wilson edge rusher out of Texas Tech Raiders looks like you guys are going to be making it happen this year building back up that defense going to be talking about that you can follow Ron on Instagram at RaiderHawk1 follow me on Instagram at JB the Ticket, and of course, check out the show on Twitter. If you're still rocking with Twitter, Twitter's doing a lot of weird stuff. But you can find us on there at We Beat the Line, and again, always at my website, VegasScoreboardExpress.com. So again, you guys are going to want to stay tuned. Going over all of the grease you're going to want to hear this morning. NBA playoffs had some surprising wins in that first round. You're going to want to stay tuned for the dogs of this round. We've been telling you guys where to make your picks to put cash in your pocket so you definitely want to stay tuned here to KSHP. When I come back from this short commercial break, we're going to get into it. So you know what time it is. Time to grab your bankroll. Hit the window and beat the line. JB the ticket waking you up early in the morning. Let's get some money. You're listening to the boss of the big ball. JB the ticket. Vegas scoreboard express. Giving you that green. Basketball season is heating up, so stay in the game with Fubo TV. Get the NBA, NCAA, FIBA, and more. Get seven days free at VegasScoreboardExpress.com. Don't get cabled. Get Fubo TV. Welcome to Hash House A Go Go, where we've been serving farm food and crafted cocktails for over two decades. Visit us for the full Hash House experience at any of our five Las Vegas locations. Hash House A Go Go is where old school meets new and gets twisted. We bring people together over good food and fun. Come in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and come hungry because our portions are huge. Visit us online to see our entire menu at hashhouseagogo.com. Hash House A Go Go. It's a Midwest thing, and there's nothing else like it. Yo, 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 you in the mix. World's finest, man. And I had to come to him. The DJ keeping the party going. The DJ keeping the party going all night long. You're listening to the boss of the big four. J.P. the tech ass. Vegas scoreboard express. Give it to that. JP, the ticket back on the line with you. Ron, are you there this time? What's going on, brother? Ron, where you at? All right, I can finally hear you, man. You got to make sure you get up early in the morning and turn on that microphone. 
Got people waiting for the grease again. Ron Third Down Best Bets. Follow him on Instagram at RaiderHawk1. Again, you're rocking with the boss of the big board, Jay. Beat the ticket. So, Ron, again, thank you so much. Welcome back. Good morning. Did you finally Good get morning. your coffee, man? No one could hear you. We were like, where's Ron again? Ron, Ron must have fell asleep. I know it's early to get up. Go ahead. Where else would I be on a Saturday morning this early, brother? That's what I'm talking about right here on KSHB AM 1400. Coming up on 107.1. You guys are going to want to lock that in on May 1st. So I want to start off with the NFL because you know I love football. I want to give a shout out to the NFL for hooking me up with the Instagram feed. Live from the draft. Again, VSX Digital Sports Network's always bringing the, the exclusives. So if you follow me on Instagram at JB the Ticket, I can give you some behind the scenes photos and information about this year's draft. So let's talk about the big story that we talked about on the show a couple of weeks ago because we kind of knew this would happen. Talking about Anthony Richardson. He did go in the first round to the Colts at number four. So the Colts did pick up some potential. And you know they've had some quarterback issues over the past few seasons. Do you think that he is going to be a first-year get-on-the-field type of guy? Talking about Anthony Richardson, quarterback out of Florida, very, very big potential guy. Didn't have a lot of starts, but when he was on tape, he was somewhat mediocre. But again, workout warrior, really impressed people, came out of nowhere. Top five pick, grade from CBSSports.com. And again, you guys can check out our sponsor, Paramount Plus, over at VegasScoreboardExpress.com. Get hooked up with that. Gave him a B. Okay, so the grade is a B here. Anthony Richardson, do you think this is the surprising pick in the draft? Because... Again, I did tell you guys about a trade, but let's talk about this Anthony Richardson kid. What do you think? Go ahead, Ron. I think if they put him in right away, they're going to be disappointed. I think, like you said, he's got a ton of potential, and I think he'll be a good quarterback. Indianapolis isn't a good spot to just throw him to the wolves. So he, he's going to need time. If they give him time, he's going to be really good. So who's the he going to be playing here? behind? Who's he going to be playing behind there? I mean, the whole well, Carson Wentz thing didn't work out. That's what I, I mean, they really don't have anybody in the roster unless they go with, like, Sam Erlinger from Texas, you know, a guy they took in, like, the third round four years ago. But that's about all they really got in the roster right now. Bye-bye. Sounds like a ticket blow-up. Right away, the fans have been dying for a quarterback. They're going to be on him. Just give him time, and he'll be fine. But if they throw him in there right away, it's going to be ugly. It's going to be a disaster. And, again, the Colts. The Why well, we got to do that? Why well, we got to do that? Wow. Let's hope not. I mean, the kid seems like he's very humble. You know, again, not a lot of game tape on him. But for the NFL preview show that we got coming up, the divisional round, stay tuned for that this August. We shall see. We shall see uh, with rookie OTAs and stuff coming up in the next couple of months. The Texans made a huge move. We told you guys, look for a trade in the draft. If you were able to find that as a prop bet, we did get you paid. The Texans taking the number two and three pick, taking C.J. Stroud out of Ohio State. Again, you know that the Texans have that first-year head coach, and they pick up Will Anderson, edge rusher out of Alabama. Looks like the Texans went straight feast, no famine in the first round. Talk to me about it. Yeah, Houston did well. I think they did really good. C.J. Stroud is a hell of a quarterback. I was somehow hoping he could fall to Las Vegas, but he, uh, he is, that's, he's a baller. He knows how to play. Big games, comes through. No pressure. They put the pressure on me, smiling. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be an interesting year down in Houston. Like I said, you know, first year Houston uh, head coach. It is one of those things, like I said before, when you take D'Amico Ryan's former all pro with the Houston Texans coming in in his first year. What a great steal for his draft. Front office is trying to make him successful. And that's what I said before. They're going to need name recognition. They're going to need some excitement down in Houston. And I think they did that. Also moving down to our beloved Las Vegas Raiders. Did a great job in the first round. At number seven, picking up Tyree Wilson, edge rusher out of Texas Tech. This guy is ready to play right out of the gate. And as you know, a couple of years ago, under the Gruden era, they depleted that defense, traded away Khalil Mack. Now he's floating around the NFL kind of as a journeyman. But this is one of the best picks that I have seen for the Raiders over the last three seasons since they have been here in Vegas. And a lot of people have been telling me that they were going to go with the cornerback. And I told you before, 
DBs, dime a dozen. You can get a lot of great DBs later on in the rounds. But again, the Raiders picking up Jimmy Garoppolo, focused on defense in that first round, as their picks are also getting picked up today's round, tomorrow, and I think the last round will be on Monday. Do you think that the Las Vegas Raiders are going to come in a little bit stronger this year, a little bit more focused, new quarterback, looks like they're trying to shore up that defense. Go ahead. Yeah, I think this year should be much better. It, it's just going to be about football again. We're we're finally no more drama in you know with the Raiders. We had a lot of stuff off the field for a couple of years. Derek Carr's been doing this and that and this and that and not much of it. And the things have just not really been focused. And I, I really think they're focused now. Seems like they got to go in the right direction. I definitely agree with you on that. Moving right along into the first round. We talked about it. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Will Levis, this guy sat in the green room. We told you this was going to happen. He was picked up. Yeah, he was picked up. Never sells. Never sells. He was picked up in the second round, though, going down to that quarterback malaise that they have in the Tennessee Titans. Tennessee right now have Ryan Tannehill looking for the future. Somehow I saw an NFL rumor today. From a guy, shout out my main man over at Fox Sports, VJ, the big husky. Getting it done, VESN Sports. One of our friends out in L.A. tweeted out something this morning that Malik Willis has already lost his faith down in Nashville. So now you're talking about bringing in Will Levis, who I think will get a lot of the reps. They did take Malik Willis last year, but if the Titans have already kind of moved on from him, what do you think is going to be going on down in Tennessee? Because, as you know, Derrick Henry, free agent. I don't know if he's got picked up yet, but when you talk about the change down in Nashville, it looks like it could be going to a rebuilding year. But what are your thoughts? Go ahead. Well, I, I think, yeah, I think you're right. I, I, they didn't trade the running backs. So that was the biggest thing people were talking about. You know, I was hearing that that they were actually thinking about trading Derrick Henry, which really surprised me. He's been the franchise for years. But I do think the move, the move from Karen Hill needs to happen. Um, I think Malik Wills is a really good quarterback. I hope he gets his chance. I really do, because he really didn't get a chance last year. And the few times he did get in, he impressed me. So, But, uh, yeah, Will Levis, he'll be okay. He's just got to learn that it's creamer, not mayonnaise in your coffee. That's, That's thing. what I'm talking about. Make sure that you get Give the right type of grease. grease in your coffee. Moving along to the second round, Joey Porter Jr. You know his father played with the Pittsburgh Steelers, won a Super Bowl with them. So shout out for the Steelers picking him up. You got Mike Tomlin still coaching there. You got an A-plus grade coming out of CBS Sports, KSHP AM 1400, 107.1 FM, VSX Digital Sports Networks. I gave these guys an A, not an A+, plus, just simply because the Steelers have always been defensively focused, and I know that they had some issues losing wide receivers, offensive talent. They have picked up a few free agents, but when you lose guys like Juju Smith-Suster, you lose other guys who are really stalwarts in that offense. Now you're coming into this year, you're saying, well, let's focus back on being a defensive team. Do you think Joey Porter Jr. is one of these guys who can come in and play right away? Go ahead. I do. He's a heck of a player, and he's a lot. He's got that mentality. His dad. His dad was nasty. Just he was all over the place, you know. But he was a good nasty, you know. Not not making mistakes. He just was mean and right there the way you got to be in football. And it was a real real good thing. His sons just like him. I'm telling so, you right now, it's going to be a good season for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think that after you know last year with their rookie quarterback, he stepped in. He stepped up. He played well, and now. Pickett has got to focus on getting that offense down pat, using the weapons he's got on offense, and I think the Steelers will be able to get some good free agents. Moving along to another pick, the Raiders, an excellent pick in the second round at number 35. Picking up your man Michael Myers from Nordal Dame. That's what I'm talking about, the Fighting Irish coming out here to Las Vegas. You know we lost Darren Waller. Do you think Michael Myers, who had a strong season at Notre Dame, had a, quite a few touchdown passes. Great blocker. That's one of the things I like about him. He's a great blocker. Questionable about his hands, maybe 20 yards out. But I think he can develop into a very, very strong player to possibly take over that role for Darren Waller, who's got shipped out to the Giants. But what say you, Ron? Go ahead. Well, 
well, he's already going to be better than Waller because he's going to be on the field, number one. But uh, he, he's a player. He's a big time player. But, you know, watching, watching USC Notre Dame play last year, USC pummeled him. But he was he kept them in the game. They could not shut him down. Every time they would throw the ball in, it would be him catching the ball. He's really good. He's he's not, he's very athletic for a big guy. He's got real he's kind of shaky feet. You can't really tell which way he's going to go when he's running. Kind of just runs and boom breaks. So I, I'm really excited. This was a wonderful pick. They really did really good with this pick. Really did. This is the best well, side in the draft easily. Right. Their new GM is really making moves. The front office is listening to us. They're figuring out what the needs are and going after the needs and getting the best players available. As I said before, this draft hasn't been too surprising. Not a lot of superstars coming out, but that generally tells me in a draft like this, you're going to get a lot of quality players. Also, just mentioning on the wire, you finally got Lamar Jackson signed back with the Baltimore Ravens over a quarter billion dollars. Got Aaron Rodgers. He signed up with the New York Jets, finally got liked up with them. So now that that quarterback saga has ended and the new quarterback saga looks like it's going to be heading down into Nashville, heading into these final couple of rounds here, free agents, who do you think is going to start jumping off of that free agent board? Because there's been a lot of guys coming on the line who we still see available. And in the draft right now, they're picking a lot of skills. Want to give a shout-out to the Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions confused everybody with their first-round pick, though. Taking a clone of DeAndre Swift, but DeAndre Swift out of Georgia a couple seasons ago has been somewhat injury prone. I think it's a pick more or less. They got a scheme that they are wanting to implement and they're going to find the best players available. But it's a little bit telling when the player that gets drafted is like, look, I didn't even know I was going to get drafted that high. I had no idea. I didn't know they were going to call me. It's never a good look. Could be telling. But as I said before, Ron, when we get back, going to jump into some NBA playoffs, talk a little bit more NFL throughout the show again you guys follow us on instagram jb the ticket follow ron at raider hawk one go to our website vegas scoreboard express.com got the daily deals for my sponsors over at fubo tv quickly indian food you can get it shipped to your house nationwide just stick it in the microwave and enjoy some great tiki masala a little bit of tandoori chicken got all the good grease for you ron any shout outs before i take this short commercial break and we jump back into this nba when we get back go ahead yeah, I got one for my good buddy Juan at Main Street Smog in Ventura. He helped me out with my car this week. Wonderful guy. Fan of the show. Crazy football fan. Thank you, Juan. Juan, make sure you pick up one of those sponsorships, VSX Digital Sports Networks. Get all of your fans out here in Las Vegas and around the world listening to you about your business. That's why we do those shout-outs, guys, hooking you up with a little bit of free promo. But imagine if you invested in KSHP. we got a lot of big things going here. Again, 107.1 on your FM dial starting up on May 1st. Lock that in every Saturday and Sunday morning. JB the Ticket, myself, VSX crew, got some special guests coming up this NFL season. You know the Super Bowl is going to be here in Las Vegas. That's right, the big game is going to be rocking down on the strip at the Death Star at Legion Stadium. So when I get back from this short commercial break, more with Ron, third down, best bets, NBA pick. We only got one game today, but we're going to break it down and tell you what happened this past week. Again, a lot of shocking stuff. But we were able to put cash in your pocket early on. So you guys stay tuned. Keep it locked. JB the Ticket, KSHP AM 1400, 107.1 FM. Get the money. You're listening to the boss of the big ball. JP the Ticket. Vegas scoreboard express. Giving you that green. <laughs> Football season, stay in the game with Fubo TV. Over a hundred live channels, including NFL Network, NBA TV, and FS1. Don't miss any of the action. Get seven days free on us at VegasScoreboardExpress.com. Don't get cabled. Get Fubo TV. Keep it locked with your boy on the ones and twos. Going in on the wheels of steel. You're listening to the boss of the big ball. Death the cocaine. This is it. The cocaine in the crap. It all sound the same to me. There's a war going on outside. 
outside, no man is safe from. That's how we do it. That's just the way it is. Give That's it the reason why I came to you. Drink and women and money. That's right, drink, women, and money, all grease, straight grease, nothing but the grease. JB, the ticket, Vegas, scoreboard express, back at you live, KSHB, AM 1400, coming to you live on your FM dial if you snuck over there already, 107.1 FM, waking you up, Ron, third down, best, best, back on the line with me, VSX Digital Sports contributor and co-host, getting ready to jump into this NBA today, the dogs were barking in the first round, winnings were Made cash was put in your pocket. I'm telling you right now, that first round, very, very shocking. Ron, thanks so much for being back on the show. Let's jump back into it, man, because I'm telling you, we did not see this coming. The number eight seed beating the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. Give a shout out to that dog barking. The Miami Heat, my second home, Miami, 4 1 over the Milwaukee Bucks. Milwaukee. Last year's NBA champion. What's going on with these one-and-done NBA champions, man? It's been happening over the past couple of seasons. We saw it with the Raptors a couple seasons back. We saw it with the Warriors. It looks like these guys have been taken to the brink. Going to be talking about that game tomorrow. But the Miami Heat and Jimmy Butler, late game shot, circus shot, tied it up, and then go ahead and taking these guys down four games to one. And Giannis said in a quote after the game, we were focused on a championship. They were focused on beating us this game, and that's why they were successful. So talk to me about the Miami Heat moving into the second round, a rematch of the late 90s matchups. Remember the big Stan Van Gundy fights? You know what I mean? All the Miami Heat, Lonzo Mourning, these guys was fighting. Larry Johnson, shout out, big grandma, mom, former UNLV, all-star NBA Hall of Famer. Miami versus New York. This is going to be a good series. So when you talk about what you saw with the New York Knicks, again, shout out New York Knicks, beating the Cleveland Cavaliers four games to one. I thought they were going to win this series when they won the first game on the road and they won it handily. Cleveland just could not get back on course with that. So going into this new series with Miami and New York, two evenly matched teams, you got Jalen Brunson going up against Jimmy Butler, who do you think is going to win out of that matchup? And then we'll jump into today's action. Go ahead. This is going to be a tough series. Uh, I think on the surface, my gut wants me to go with the Knicks. But I look at that Miami Heat series, and, man, they got some guys. They came out of nowhere, and they got some talent. I love they really got some talent. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to stick. I'm going to ride with, with I'm going to ride with the Knicks myself. I'm going to stick with Jalen Brunson. He's he's just dynamic. But, it yes, Miami. I'm confident right now. <laughs> yeah, Miami's playing with a lot of confidence, and like I said, to beat the former NBA champions last year, go from that eight seed, number one seed, doing it again, a la the Denver Nuggets, who somehow scraped by their series, a little bit scary. Didn't sweep Minnesota. Minnesota got one game, but as you know, Denver did this back in the day with the Kimbe Mutombo. So, going to be an interesting series. Miami again played their hearts out beat the Milwaukee Bucks four games to one. Jumping into today's NBA matchup, Denver Nuggets, we just mentioned them, rotation number 554. These guys are at home playing against the Phoenix Suns, rotation number 553. Phoenix has been balling out. Kevin Durant has been playing quietly, one of the better players back from injury right now. You're talking about this today. Conference semifinals, game one. Phoenix, plus three. On the road, money line, plus 125, total 226 and a half. Do you think the Phoenix Suns can keep the magic going against a Denver Nuggets team that was kind of shaky, but were able to get past those Timberwolves? Go ahead. No, I'm sticking with Denver. They were shaky at the end of the series, but they sure look good the first couple games. You know, sometimes these teams play down to the level of competition. You know, Minnesota really didn't look half of what they were during the regular season. I mean, they were much better in the regular season than what they showed in the playoffs. But once they traded D'Angelo Russell, I think they kind of just, you know, nothing was the same for them. But they definitely, they're, Denver's good. I think Denver's the best team in the conference, personally. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with Denver, even though Phoenix did look really good in that last series. Phoenix but did really game, look good. But I think a lot of it had to do last series with, again, Kawhi Leonard going down with the injury. Very injury prone. Very injury prone. High-profile series. You got the two-time 
reigning MVP Nikola Jokic going up against Durant, arguably the best scorer in the NBA. Big Smooth going to be bringing out the big guns today, Big Grease. I just really like what the Phoenix Suns are doing. They're playing it by committee. You got Chris Paul, a veteran point guard, leading the way, squeezing out the last bit of his career. You know, a lot of people don't talk about CP3, but that trade where he could have played with Kobe with the Lakers and the NBA nixed it and sent him down to the Pelicans, who were the Hornets at the time. Just a disaster, man. That trade should have gone through, especially two, three seasons later, super teams were getting put together. Imagine CP3 and Kobe together. That would have been at least another good three championships. But you talk about Nuggets forward, who I think is the X factor, Aaron Gordon, former All-Star, All-Star Slam dunk champion from the Orlando Magic, now playing with the Denver Nuggets. He has been the X factor. A lot of people are talking about Jamal Murray, but I think if Aaron Gordon doesn't get those 10, 15 rebounds that he's been pulling down in a couple of games, DeAndre Ayton is going to be causing fits in the middle. So the Phoenix Suns, I actually like them in the point today, plus three. If you like a money line, you're not scared, take them, plus 125. Let's talk about that total a little bit, 226 and a half. Do you think this is going to be a high-scoring game? Go ahead. I do. I do. I think they'll wind up going over myself. Right. Yeah, definitely going to be a high-scoring game. I'm I'm thinking in the 130 range, maybe 125, 125, 120. Somewhere like in that range. Right. I mean, it's going to be a good game. I mean, if you talk about both teams right now, typically averaging about 112, 114 points a game. So they got it right where it needs to be as far as the line goes. T- talking about that New York Knicks game, just to touch on it for tomorrow, because, again, my New York Knicks, they won a playoff series. Yay! But, unfortunately, they got to go against my second home, the Miami Heat. Okay. Now, Miami Heat, the early line, if you want to get this, rotation number 501, the Miami Heat. These guys are coming in at plus four and a half on the spread, plus 163 on that early money line. The Knicks are going to be at home. Madison Square Garden is going to be rocking. First, second round playoff, big time rival. Rotation number 502, the New York Knicks, four and a half on the point spread. They are the favorite, minus 190 on the money line. Pretty good price for the Knicks. Again, making some history for these guys, helping them get back to the second round. Over and under in this game, the total 207 and a half. We know that New York and Miami like to play defense, but the way Jimmy Butler has been scoring and focused on creating a legacy for himself, looks like he's going for a championship, trying to bring that Bill O'Brien trophy back to Miami. So talk to me a little bit about this game, then we'll take a short commercial break and just keep the grease going. You guys are rocking with the boss of the big board, JB, the ticket, Vegas scoreboard express. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. AM 1400 KSHP. Find me on all of your podcast apps, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts. Subscribe, follow, and rate. Really do appreciate all that. Helps us grow the show. But like I said before, Ron, Miami Heat, New York Knicks before the break is a little bit of a preview. Talking about the total, 207 and a half. You think Jimmy Butler's going to stay on that scoring tear and give the Heat some fits? Go ahead. Yeah, I think he will. That's, that's pretty low, 207 and a half. I mean, that's, that's pretty low, I think. I think, I think it's pretty low, there. too. I think it's pretty low, too. When you got Jalen Brunson playing well, distributing the ball, hopefully Julius Randle can kind of get off the bench. I mean, you know, he's been dealing with some stuff with Thibodeau. Don't really care for that, but Thibodeau's got these guys at the second round. Even though I'm not a big fan of his style of coaching, whatever he's doing is working. And if you can keep bringing in that grease, I do like the Miami Heat in this particular game, though. In that spread, plus four and a half. The way Jimmy Butler is playing, should be able to put some cash in your pocket. And you guys are going to be able to put more cash in your pocket. Stay tuned. JB the Ticket, Vegas Score Board Express. Going to be talking some more NFL draft. Got the later rounds today. Later rounds are where the Hall of Famers are made. You guys know a lot of busts in those first rounds. You don't want to get too high up on them. If not, going to be talking some more Raiders picks and what they should do. Best players available. Ron, any more shout-outs before we take this short commercial break? Thank you so much. Go ahead. Yeah, I got one from Mohammed Javel. Another gentleman helped me with my car, man. I had a rough week with this car. Windy Auto, Newberry Park. There you go. There you go. You guys, be sure to pick up your sponsorship. Go over to VegasScoreboardExpress.com. Go over to our corporate website at VSXDigitalSportsNetwork.com. Get those ad packages, people. Got the NFL big game. That's right. Super Bowl coming here to Las Vegas Allegiant Stadium. This football season also got the Raiders rebuilding, locking and loading, putting it together, making sure they're a dog that's barking to put cash in your pocket this season. So you guys are going to want to stay tuned to keep it locked. JB the Ticket, Vegas Scoreboard Express. When I come back, I'm giving you straight grease. Nothing but the grease, all the grease. Want to give a shout-out to my main man, Mark Hayes, KSA Speed Station Director, the man putting it together. Program, 
making it happen fm 107.1 again you guys are going to want to stay tuned locked in for that going to be taking over the sports airwaves here in las vegas vsx kshp you guys know what time it is time to grab your bankroll hit the window let's beat the line you're listening to the boss of the big ball jp the tech vegas scoreboard express giving you that green Basketball season is heating up, so stay in the game with Fubo TV. Get the NBA, NCAA, FIBA, and more. Get seven days free at VegasScoreboardExpress.com. Don't get cabled. Get Fubo TV. Ticket Vegas Scoreboard Express back on the line with you. KSHB 1400 waking you up early in the morning. That's what we're doing. Giving you the picks that pay. Sports betting information that you can count on. Again, you can follow the show on Twitter. We beat the line. Go to my website, VegasScoreboardExpress.com. All the daily deals, all the picks. Got my main man, Ron Third Down Best Bets back on the line with me. Talking some more Raiders picks. The NFL Draft is here 2023. I really liked some of the stuff. Again, shout out to the NFL for hooking me up with those behind-the-scenes Instagram links. Told you your boy JB the tickets got the connect, got the hookup. You guys are going to want to get over to Fubo TV as well. Sign up for Fubo TV at FuboTV.com slash JB. Giving you 15% off, seven days, absolutely free. So let's start talking about some of these picks that the Raiders have made. Got three rounds in. Fourth round, fifth round, sixth and seventh are going to be coming up for the rest of the weekend so you guys are going to definitely want to download fubo tv get the nfl network package it is included with your subscription and again i'm giving you 15 percent off so ron back on the line with me thank you so much raiders picked up tyree wilson again the edge rusher out of texas tech in the first round second round picking up my main man michael halloween meyer tight end out of Notre dame third round back on the defensive side picking up byron young defensive lineman out of of Alabama so like we said before defense was a big problem for the Raiders last year not being able to maintain leads at the end of the game losing you money lines by a point getting late touchdowns thrown on them, having to throw up Hail Marys how do you think this is going to be this season I think the Raiders are going to definitely be a defensive team looking at some of these draft picks that they have players that they've let go I think the Raiders are going to want to be a terror on that defensive side of the ball and also picking up another wide receiver, Trey Tucker, wide receiver. This was a trade from KC via New York in the third round out of Cincinnati. Another gamer who should be a strong contender for that third wide receiver slot. So talk to me about what you think the Raiders are going to be doing this year. Made a lot of high-level moves. You brought in Jimmy Garoppolo, let a lot of top players go, Waller go, a couple other guys on defense but they look like they're trying to shore things up in the draft. And, of course, free agency is still available. Talk to me, Ron. You're the Raider Hawk. Go ahead. The Raiders are getting football players, not guys that want to be on TV shows, not guys that want to be on the news, not guys that want to be this and that. They want to play football, and they want to win football games. And that's what the Raiders need to do. They need to get refocused. Max Crosby plays his ass off every game, every play. I want the whole team doing that. I want every man on the roster doing that. That's that's what what I'm talking about. That's what they're getting back to. I mean, these guys are big. They're going to be physical on the defensive side of the ball. Looks like some of those front office people are waking up early in the morning because we told you a couple of weeks ago here on Vegas Scoreboard Express that if they focused on spending a high draft pick on a DB, 
that would be a way. So the Vegas Raiders figured out how to use that free agency cap that they picked up, all that space letting away, letting go all those bums, guys getting in trouble, dropping those guys off. These guys are focused on that defense, and I'm telling you right now, the Raiders had a good offense last year. They still have Devontae Adams. You've got a very good quarterback in Jimmy Garoppolo, former Super Bowl quarterback. You know how I like that pedigree. Defensive side of the ball. These guys take the next few picks that they have and continue to shore up that defense. What do you think is going to happen on the offensive side of the ball? A couple more trades, a couple more free agencies. I still think Ezekiel Elliott is available, and that will be some great star power here in Las Vegas. You hear me, Raiders? Pick up Ezekiel Elliott. Give him a decent contract. Don't give him a veteran minimum, but give him what he wants. He's still training out there, still looks good, and I think that he would be a great addition in that backfield with Josh Jacobs if he ends up not happy and possibly trades out midseason. I think that with Ezekiel Elliott giving you that star power, giving you that big-name recognition, it could really help push the Raiders over the top. But your thoughts, Ron, go ahead. Well, Josh Jacobs, unfortunately, is already unhappy. I saw on Twitter yesterday, he put a, he quoted, haven't been to Vegas in a while, and I don't plan on going back. So who's not happy now? We already, we already have a problem. They need to sign him to a long-term contract, cut the crap, sign him. He earned it. He played his butt off last year. He was our whole team. Did you take away Josh Jacobs? We were done. We had won two games. Man. He he earned it, and they need to stop this little NFL. Don't want to pay the running backs because they get hurt. Yeah, they get hurt because they have heat sinking missiles hitting them all game long. These linebackers in the NFL, they are beasts. They cream running backs now, and that's part of the game. But just because that happens, they should get. They should not not get paid. They get hit a lot. They deserve to get paid. Pay the man. Talking up the running backs. Interesting that you're talking up running backs too. We had two running backs. Taken in the first round, you had Bijan Robinson, the running back out of Texas. Man is smooth, rolls like a Cadillac. Very, very good player. You also had the young man getting picked up by the Detroit Lions. So, shockingly, in the first round, we did see some value from the running back position. So, with that being said, do you think that puts a little bit more pressure on the Raiders to re-sign Josh Jacobs with a little bit better contract than what they have been offering him? Because if he goes back and says, look, he hasn't been to Vegas in a while, not liking what's going on here. We're going to have to make a move somehow, some way. And like I said, Ezekiel Elliott still sitting right there, fresh off of that Dallas Cowboys debacle for the first part of his career. I think it would be a great way for him to save some tax money, keep more money in his pocket, come out here to Nevada. We've got great sunshine playing in another dome stadium, great stadium, brand new stadium. That's pretty much all that Ezekiel Elliott has played in. You guys are listening to me, giving a lot of grease to Ezekiel Elliott. Come here to Las Vegas. If Josh Jacobs doesn't want to be here, sorry, kid. Got to go ahead and get him out of here. We do not need that this year in Las Vegas. We need players who are focused and who want to be here to help this team get over the hump. How great would it be for Las Vegas to host the Super Bowl and be in the Super Bowl? We've got two dynamic players still here on offense and Devontae Adams and Jimmy Garoppolo who can make that happen. And if these guys continue to focus on the defensive side of the ball, I think it's going to be a real, real good season here in Las Vegas. I'm super excited about it. And you guys can get super excited about it as well. Go over to FuboTV.com. Click that live TV link on VegasScoreBoardExpress.com. FuboTV.com slash JB. Also on my website, I've got a lot of great information and offers for you coming up in this season. So you guys are going to want to stay tuned for that. Telling you right now, Raiders Nation, get excited. We got some good players coming out of that draft. A lot of good veterans still available as secondary players in free agency. So don't be surprised if the Raiders... Last year, were poised, looked like they were going to be at the top of the AFC West, didn't quite get there, but this is a year I think they're going to make some noise, at least a wild card team. I know we're going back to the playoffs. So, Ron, any more shout-outs before we take this short commercial break and come back and get the show finished out again? Thank you guys so much for listening around Las Vegas and around the world. KSHP AM 1400, Las Vegas, FM 107.1. Lock it in for May 1st. Shout-outs, Ron. Go ahead. Yeah, my brother Richard Beth. A Chief fan, my sister Joni Carey, a 49er fan. Our Raiders are coming for you, both. That's what I'm talking about. Beat that, giving you straight grease. When I come back from this short commercial break, we're going to wrap it up for you. Follow me on Twitter at We Beat the Line. Follow the show on Instagram at JB the Ticket. And when you follow me, 
You're going to get good information during these seasons. You can ask me questions. Get it hooked up. I don't do a lot of posing. I don't do selfies. I don't waste time like that. But I am going to be hooking you up with all kinds of grease, discounts, and sponsors that can help save money, give you more money to bet and win. So when we get back from the short commercial break, keep it locked. It's a great weekend in sports. Got the NFL draft. Going to be making some implications. You also got that XFL, USFL stuff. A lot of football getting played, people. But most importantly, got that NBA playoffs. Knicks, Heat, tomorrow, today, Suns, Denver. You guys are going to want to stay tuned. Keep it locked. JB the Ticket, Vegas, Scoreboard Express. Get the money. You're listening to the boss of the big ball. JB the Ticket. Vegas, Scoreboard Express. Giving you that green. Vegas Scoreboard Express, Saturday and Sunday mornings at 6 on AM 1400 KSHP North Las Vegas. Online at KSHP.com. This football season, stay in the game with Fubo TV. Over 100 live channels, including NFL Network, NBA TV, and FS1. Don't miss any of the action. Get seven days free on us at VegasScoreboardExpress.com. Don't get cabled. Get Fubo TV. You're tuned into the VSX Digital Sports Network. You're listening to the boss of the big ball. Vegas scoreboarding. Jamie, the ticket back at you live. KSHP AM 1400 107.1 FM. VSX Digital Sports Network. All money, all sports, no bull. Back on the line with my main man, Ron Third Down, best, best, VSX Digital Sports contributor, and Vegas Scoreboard Express, live co-host, dropping grease on you. Be sure to follow the show on Instagram, at JB the Ticket, Twitter, we beat the line, and of course, if you want to get us without all that goop and gop, go over to our website at VegasScoreboardExpress.com. So again, talking a little bit about this NBA matchup today, you got one game, rotation number 553, the Phoenix Suns, plus three on the road in Denver, the Mile High City. Let's see if they can make it to the Mile High Club and screw up that ticket with the Denver Nuggets if you're taking a minus three. I like the Phoenix Suns, like I said, plus three, plus 125 on the money line if you ain't scared. Total 226 and a half. Ron, you still like those Denver Nuggets, man? Go ahead. I do. I'm going to pick some gold today, brother. Oh, man. Hopefully you pick boogers, and like I said before, <laughs> The Phoenix Suns are going to come out there and get you that snow melt and wash you guys right off the court. Again, JB, the ticket, Vegas School Board Express, talking to my main man, Ron Third Down Best Bets. Follow him over on Instagram at RaiderHawk1. So, again, with the Raiders coming into the draft, this third and fourth round day, getting everything finished up, who do you think is available? Also, want to give a shout-out, before we get back into this, want to give a shout-out to my main man, Lee Berg. He brought some information to my attention. You know we had a big weekend in boxing uh, this past weekend, but uh, a young man uh, who was one of his uh, big time guys worked with him many, many years in the past. King Arthur Williams, rest in peace. April 26, King Arthur Williams did pass away, unfortunately. Former heavyweight boxer, but he made it happen. Rest in peace, my man. Give a shout out to my guy, Lee Berg, for putting that together for me. He's one of our. Uh, Attorney partners give me a lot of inside grease. Again, you guys want to know where I get some of this information from. That's one of the guys who helps me out here in Las Vegas. So, again, thank you so much for that information. Also want to give a shout-out uh, to the family of King Arthur Williams. So, again, getting back into this, the Raiders, these guys are coming into this draft with 12, 13 draft picks, a lot of things available for them. Do you think that, again, going forward in this particular draft, what are some of the other teams that you're going to see try to make a big haul maybe make some trades, maybe make a few things happen. Because like I said, last year, the NFL was straightforward. We knew who the good teams were. A little bit shocked with the Super Bowl, but the Eagles played lights out, made it all the way to the Super Bowl. 
Kansas City Chiefs looks like they're reloading. Talk to me about who else you think is going to be pretty good. We saw that kid Hendon Hooker get picked out of Tennessee yesterday in the third round. Quarterback helped Tennessee revamp that program this past season. So, again, there's a lot of guys who are coming into this draft who seem to be pretty ready. And it's going to be an interesting preseason, I think, to watch these games and see how some of these younger guys are developing because they are a little bit older, had the COVID season, getting some guys who maybe didn't get to play a lot as freshmen still live up to that hype to go to the NFL. But, Ron, your thoughts, and then we'll get ready to get locked up and get up out of here. Go ahead. Yeah, we had some teams last year that were right on the verge, like Jacksonville. I think they're going to build it, keep building it. The Giants, uh, the Jets now. Now I don't know what they did with all their – they got some more picks later, but they got to, now they got to fill some holes now. They made some trades. And good luck to the New Orleans Saints. I want to see what they do with Derek Carr. I'm really curious about this, how this is going to work for them. Yeah. And better draft some linemen, I'll tell you that, because – he gets uh, a little light with his feet when he feels pressure. So, but uh, yeah, it's 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 been really a really great draft. It really has so far. The even there's only been maybe one pick where everybody's kind of like, well, who is that? Where is he from? You know. But everybody else is like right on it. Right on it. Talk about those Philadelphia Eagles yesterday had back to back picks at 65 and 66. Picked up at 65, offensive lineman out of Alabama, Tyler Steen, and then picking up. The safety DB out of Illinois, Sidney Brown. Kind of a mixed grade on that, but the Eagles. Shout out to my main man, Lynn Woodhard, Rock Hamilton. He should have been on the show today, but again, he's got to get up early in the morning to catch this grease. JB the ticket, Vegas School Board Express, every Saturday and Sunday, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. KSHB AM 1400 here in Las Vegas. And now coming up on 107.1 FM. The Eagles, do you think these guys are going to be going back to the Super Bowl? Because again, they haven't made too many changes to that team, kept some core guys trying to pick and fill some spots here in this draft. Looks like they're going to get some young guys to try to work some of those veterans. Do you think the Eagles are going to make it a back-to-back NFC championship type team? Go ahead. They could. I mean, right now they got to be the favorite. I mean, I don't see anybody better in the, in the conference. But there is teams that can gel, that can play good together, that can be better. So there, there's definitely a possibility there that you know, teams that could beat them. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what the Rams are going to do after that disaster year they had last year. Yeah, the Rams. They oh, were, man, let's not talk about that. They were horrible. <laughs> their coach was going to quit and leave, and now he's signed. He stayed long term, and let's see. They refocus. We'll see what they do. Well, hopefully they can do a little bit more than what they have been doing because the L.A. Rams have been quite disappointing. Again, another one of these one-and-done Super Bowl championship teams. Won it a couple seasons ago with Odell Beckham Jr., who is now on the Baltimore Ravens. Whatever happened to Matthew Stafford? Didn't he get traded out of there already, or he's just still kicking around? Go ahead. No, he's still there. He was, he was hurt all year last year. Oh, boy. Well, that'll about do it for me and Ron. Thank you so much, Ron. Third down, best bets for stopping up by the big board today. Again, you guys stay tuned and lock in with me online on my website, VegasSchoolBoardExpress.com. Want to give a shout-out to all the listeners here in Las Vegas. Want to give a shout-out to the Las Vegas Raiders. That front office, you guys are making some great picks. Keep it coming. Hopefully you send me my press pass so I can come out to some of the summer OTAs. But again, Rod, before we get out of here, any final shout-outs for you? And then we're going to sign off and make it happen. Go ahead. Yeah, I feel my way with one for Kayla, I'm super fan, and... Like you mentioned, Rock Linwood Hamilton. There you go, Philadelphia Eagles. That's what I'm talking about, Philadelphia's finest player, rolling up in the big house, big board. He's going to be back in the next couple of weeks, making some picks with us here at KSHB AM 1400. So, again, I'm getting ready to sign off. JB the Ticket, Vegas Scoreboard Express. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Tune in tomorrow, 6 a.m., 7 a.m. I'm telling you, the picks in the NBA right now, rotation number 553. I'm telling you, take the Phoenix Suns. Plus three, plus 125 if you ain't scared to beat the Denver Nuggets today on the road. Rotation number 554. So, again, grab your bankroll, hit the window, and beat the line. JB, the ticket. Vegas scoreboard express. Get the money. JB, the ticket. On 1400, KSHP North Las Vegas and KSHP.com.